How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. For proper ergonomics, you really should have your laptop elevated. You can use different solutions like a bunch of printer paper, a fixed arm type, or this cream of the crop type, which is a gas spring loaded laptop tray that can move wherever that you want it to from clear look. If you have your laptop levitating like this, you reclaim all this desk space underneath your laptop. If you're working on some papers, just push it back. You push all this back and you can reclaim all that space. You can just kind of let me show you some of the more interesting features of this laptop arm. On the underside of the tray, they store these little rubber knobs. You want to flip this thing over and install these rubber feet onto the platform here and here, or a little higher depending on your laptop. Pull this little flap up. This is to keep your laptop from falling down. The laptop hold downs are individually adjustable. So you flip this open, put your laptop on, pull the underside out and move each one of these up and it'll grab onto the laptop. We can push it all the way up. If your laptop is too heavy for the arm, you can use the included hex wrench and increase the tension. And now it will stay. This is the cable guide. You can slip it right on. These holes allows you to store the included hex wrenches. You can use this clamp on a table thickness from zero to two and a third inches. And if your desk is even thicker than that, you can open these guys up, take the cover piece off and then flip this guy over to the other side, attach this back, and the table can now be as thick as three and a third inch. You can even mount it through a hole in your desk. Just remove this little grommet piece, remove all this stuff again, remove these screws. I found one of these loose in the box. If that happens to you, find it and put it back. This piece that was here before, we instead turn it around and stick it right in here. Reattach these screws. And now this surface is completely flat. There are spaces for the grommet already, so we can just put that right on. Before we had a washer keeping this plate from going down. Now we remove the washer and now this plate will go all the way down. At the bottom of your desk, you put it through the hole and it goes into your monitor mount here. You can attach it to a desk up to two and a third inches. You remove the set screw and the pole. Well, it's just a dead end down there. That's what it looks like inside the tube. This tube is 11 inches long. You can adjust the stopper as you please. We'll put the laptop mount on. Tighten this set screw if you want to fix the rotation a little bit more. You can still move it, but it has a lot more friction. It can hold up to a 27 inch monitor. It comes with four standoffs for curved monitors, four short screws, four long screws. I'll use the four short screws for this monitor. Attach this plate with this tab towards the top. Slide it right on. Attach the locking screw. There's quite a range of motion for this monitor. You can pull it out really far up down all the way to the desk, left, right. Compared to no gas spring, there is a lot more adjustability. You want that because sometimes you're sitting a little bit lower or maybe you're leaning back. You want this at a different height. Let's try to mount the laptop instead. You put the same plate over this and put the screws in. Tighten the tensioning for the tray. Just slide the tray in there and attach the screw. Now it's ready to use. Definitely a luxury over not buying any laptop stand at all. But if you're spending a lot of time at your desk, I think it's worth every penny. If you guys are interested in this product, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.